take six of my attempt to explain how I got sound to work in Pogo uh, in Ubuntu 10.04. So let me try to explain with some background here as to what the situation is. There are some differences, of course, between what happens in Ubuntu 10.04 and 10.10 that you need to do to get sound to work. There are some, also some commonalities, but I'll just start out with Ubuntu 10.10 as to what you need to do to get your sound to work. And don't just depend on the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, you, you're going to have to go into the command line, and I'll show you what those commands were that I ran uh, while, um, while fixing this. I will say this isn't a perfect solution. It's still got some problems here. Eventually one of these little guys is going to grunt because <laughs> it's hit with one of my balloons, but it's intermittent, which is unfortunate. Um, you know, <laughs> at least it happened before. I guess I'll just keep going. And I don't know if there's some kind of interference with in my sound system between what I just the fact that I'm using this camera or not. Um, okay, so what did I do? I'll just start with that. Um, after the upgrade, okay, Ubuntu 10.10 installs with the Open JDK Java and not Sun's Java. And what you need to know is you need Sun's Java to work right. And I even spent about four to five videos wrestling with this uh, in my Upgrade Your Ubuntu series there, 10.4 uh, 10, 10 to 10.10. 10. But what I didn't realize is that the, I was being deceived by the Ubuntu Software Center. So the Ubuntu, uh, this is what I believe, the Ubuntu Software Center was telling me that the OpenJDK was not installed and Sun's Java was installed. Or maybe I just assumed that because I installed Sun's Java, the OpenJDK was not going to uninstall. And I carried forward the memory of the behavior of the Ubuntu Software Center in 10.04, in which the OpenJDK would show as being installed when it wasn't. So long as you had Sun's Java installed, it would show the OpenJDK being installed, I guess. It's, my comment was was to uh, prevent the user from installing both at the same time. Well, guess what? On mine, my uh, Ubuntu 10.10, by adding the Sun Java, I still had OpenGDK installed in there. And um, I'm going to go to my home directory now because I lost the video when I actually ran the commands. Um, and this is a print, this is a, a copy of what I did at the command line. So um, instead of using sudo, I use superuser. That's a different topic, but you, you would just type sudo. I and this which which Java has nothing to do with the solution. So I will leave it at that. I checked to see what version of Java I had, and I could see it was Java trademark. Trademark. It means that Sun's Java. But then when I type this command, dpackage minus l, which means just to list all the packages. Uh, produce a list of all the packages that are installed, but by adding this pipe command here, which is this key, shift and that, and typing grep, which means look for, OpenJDK, I was able to find where um, I had two instances of the OpenJDK installed, and that's what prevented me from having any sound. So that's the OpenJDK 6 JRE and the OpenJDK V6 JRE headless. So what I did as a result, I, I ran apt-get purge open gdk6 gdk, and then it gave me this whole rigmarole, and then I did apt-get purge open gdk6 jre, and then it was done. And then after that, everything was, was good. I also, um, in the Ubuntu Software Center, I uninstalled the Ice-T plugin and installed the uh, Sun Java plugin, and that worked properly. But I think that there is some there's a problem now in the Ubuntu Software Center where it'll show your your um, Java OpenJDK as being uninstalled when in fact it still is or parts of it is. And you want to get rid of the whole thing. Um, 
where I got this information from was from this uh, web page here written by Tobias DH1TW and that's from the website that he uh, writes a blog on it's www.dh1tw.de you can search the term web SDR and Java fix Ubuntu Linux and you'll be okay to be able to find the page there are things there you do not need to do and one of those things is to, to those thi one of those things is to edit the um, the Java six Sun sound dot properties file that is in the etc directory underneath the Java six Sun subdirectory you don't need to do that because um, I didn't and things seem to work okay for me here although my sound, to be honest with you, my sound right now is intermittent. And then um, after that, that's it. That's the solution. Now, what's the difference between 1004 and 1004? What you needed to do is you needed to change directories into this directory right here: user live JVM Java 6 Sun Jerry live i386, which is actually this one here. And you needed you had to rename live j sound alva so to something else <clears throat> and this was me testing to see if it made a difference and i found that when i did that my sound in pogo was in fact gone okay so you don't want to do this in 1010 but you have to do it in 104 for the solution to work so in a matter of six months um <laughs> the solutions have changed but people aren't specifying their versions on blog entries etc including this guy well he says 1004 but the one piece of piece of the puzzle he does not include is the renaming of the uh, jsoundelza.so. So um, it's a wild, crazy, chaotic word out, world out there in the Linux world where one solution for one version that's six months old does not work for the subsequent version. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's what keeps people off the desktop. And the fact that, but now, the fact that Ubuntu has decided to put the OpenJDK and the Ice-T plugin in there, those two crap open source Java plugins, I'll say it, I got to say it, and I'm going to say it, they're crap. You want to use the Sun one, you don't want to use the open source one. What they need to do is they need to put, they need to pick apps that are going to work first before they do the open source one. They need to certify these things. If they're going to make a decision to put the OpenJDK in, they better certify they can go to Pogo or whatever other Yahoo games or other place people might dream up. You never know <laughs> that the damn thing's going to work. And if it doesn't, they shouldn't put it in there. But they did. And that's the choice they made. And it's unfortunate. Again, for people that are using Ubuntu 1004, you do need, you do need to do the same things. But you, don't you do not want to necessarily rely on the Ubuntu Software Center again. To get Sun Java installed, you either have to add the canonical, this is for both 1004 and 1010, you have to add the canonical partners repository to your list. He provides instructions to do that on his page. If I can find the first page, which is the page most important for this, it is uh, add, add app repository slash or slash and put in the, you know, search for this page and just copy and paste it in if you don't have the canonical partners in there. And in your case, if you're in, if you're using 1010, it's not going to be Lucid. It'll be Maverick partner. And then um, you go ahead and add that repository. Then you, you'll be able to install the Sun Java, which consists of these three packages up here: uh, Sun slash Java six slash JRE Sun slash Java six slash plugin and Sun slash Java six slash fonts. I'm not so sure if the fonts are all that important, but you can check your Java version by doing Java slash version. That that's it. That's all you really got to do. So basically, the solution is both in 10.4 and 10.10. Don't put the JD. Don't use the Open JDK. Use Sun Java. Get rid of the Ice T plugin. Use the Sun plugin. And then 10.4, the only difference is you have to rename the lib jsound alza.so file that's located in user lib jvm java 6 sun jerry lib i386 right here to something besides what it's normally called. And if you upgrade it from 
10 4 to 10 10 you find you don't have any sound you've done everything I said but you fixed it in 10 4 by renaming check that subdirectory you might have to rename it back um, so that's it hopefully my hopefully my sounds in sync I'm just really getting thoroughly annoyed with the multimedia here in, in Linux I had to change my um, so now for 1010, I gotta go back. I'm gonna make a video, uh, Linux desktop report, just to say that I decided I was gonna use MPEG video one in the Matroska format with 864 by 480 resolution to get my sound to work, rather than whatever I had before. Um, that's it, and hopefully this will be helpful.